economic slowdown is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because a uh, few years ago, Chinese intellectuals, including some leaders, talk about China model. Mm -hmm. Because China's economic success, they deny the political you know, a uh, uh, kind of a right. leg, right, right? right. or bottleneck. Right. And uh, the current uh, slowdown of the economy partially related with the Eurozone problem, which hurt China's export. Mm -hmm. And but uh, also reflect uh, what uh, Tao Lan said, the difficulty for structure change of Chinese economy from export labor intensive economy to uh, you know, uh, innovation driven and uh, consumption driven, service sector centered economy itself is very difficult. So in a way that uh, real innovation service sector uh, uh, driven economy requires political openness, mm -hmm. requires rule of law more than any time. Mm -hmm. So in a way that the economic slowdown is the result of the political bottleneck, but further reveal fundamental flaws of the political system. Mm -hmm. Now in concrete term, which means that uh, 10 more million, 20 more million become laid off. As we know that the college students already lay off, a huge number of percentage lay off. Now with this kind of additional close down of Japanese stores and et cetera, they will more lay off. So that kind of economic crisis and also the property bubble mm -hmm. and the stock market is still doing poorly. Mm -hmm. People, middle class really complain the, the companies, the monopolized companies, stolen all this money. Mm -hmm. So the revolution is, is a scenario. People in China talk about that. But even without the economic problem, even China make progress in all the areas, I think this success also will lead some further change, further demand. Right. And so the triggering factor could be very unexpected. Could be health crisis, China has a serious uh, public health crisis. And there could be social injustice, kill of a baby, and uh, food safety issues. I mean, we do not know. Mm -hmm. But we do know the mood at the, at the moment is very, very dangerous. I don't know whether you have read or not. I read this from official media, saying that in the past two or three months, that in three or four cities, including Shanghai and Kunming, I forgot, maybe uh, uh, two other cities, that the angry passengers in the airport, for some reasons, the delayed or other things, they just broke the door, just ran to the run, uh, runway to block the landing or the take off the aircraft. Happened three or four times in the past two or three months. That's, I mean, none, none of them is really punished. That kind of anger. So it's very, very dangerous. I think it's a wake up call.